Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A today. We are going to talk about Borders Knitwear. So Borders Knitwear is the Armory's in-house knitwear collection. It is made on the border of England and Scotland, hence Borders Knitwear. It's made in a beautiful town in Scotland called Hoyk uh, that have been making knitwear for generations and generations and generations. And uh, they've been kind of our primary supplier for knitwear for years now. We are going to focus today on my favorite piece of knitwear from um, our collection, which is the sleeveless cardigan. Um, so you can just about see it underneath my jacket. As you can imagine, it is a cardigan without sleeves, but we've done a bunch of stuff to make it just a little bit more special. Um, this particular cardigan is designed to be worn with tailoring, right? So it's cut very short, like it's really just sitting on the hip bone. Um, it actually uses much smaller buttons than normal because, you know, sometimes you see cardigans and the buttons are the same size as the jacket buttons and it just looks like there's a whole mess of buttons on your front. So that's why we actually downsize the buttons on our cardigans um, to better sit with a jacket on top. Um, also, you know, one of the benefits of having sleeveless cardigans, right, is that when you wear tailoring, especially like nicer tailoring with higher armholes, if you have a whole knitwear sleeve as well, sometimes it's a little uncomfortable. Like sometimes you find yourself getting caught in the armpit a lot. So by having a sleeveless cardigan, you can add that color, you can add that texture, you can have that little bit extra warmth, um, but still have a lot of comfort. Like it's a nice balance. And I find myself wearing these sleeveless cardigans everywhere. Like obviously with tailoring, like I am today, but actually I wear it a lot with, um, with denim, with chinos. Uh, you know, the rise is a little bit higher, so you have to be careful. You can't really wear anything low rise with these cardigans, but why would you be wearing anything low rise anyways? All right, let's look at some colors. Um, so let's start with this. This is um, the VBC special for the collection this year. Well, we have three specials, but there's one of them. Um, it's a lovely sport coat cloth. It's in their classic worsted quality, and it is a combination of brown, kind of a battleship gray, and then black. And uh, in this case, you know, you kind of want to add a little bit of contrast in there. You know, obviously you could put something like a charcoal or a navy, but actually I think that this is a little bit more interesting with something like this, silver which I think is just a lovely, lovely shade to go with this particular sport coat. Moving on, we got this. This is the Laura Piana Coarse Hair. Um, and actually just a little tangent. Uh, so the Laura Piana Coarse Hair, what that's all about is, it's a type of cashmere. When you deal with cashmere, normally it's like the undercoat of the animal because the undercoat's like a little bit softer. Um, coarse hair actually includes the longer parts of the hair, which are a little bit stiffer um, and they're kind of more protection for the animal. Uh, you can mix that in with the normal short hair, like soft cashmere, and create this really interesting cloth that has like a little bit more body and crispness and a little bit less softness if it was just 100% normal cashmere. Um, it's a really, really interesting cloth. And this is the first time I've seen it done. Laura Piana, as usual, have kind of come up with a new formulation. Um, so kudos to them. Anyway, color-wise, we're talking about like beiges, browns, mustards, uh, yellows. And so for me, the olive is a no-brainer. Like I think that kind of olivey green just sits really well with these colors. Okay, next we got this, Dorme Pinstripe. Um, you know, for me, pinstripes are not the easiest thing to wear, uh, especially when they're like in clear-cut worsted fabrics. Um, they can be quite serious. I think that in this case, we did it in a flannel, and the flannel is a little bit easier. It's a little, a little more charming. Uh, but I think what can make it even more fun uh, and helps to dress it down a little bit more is uh, to use just navy. Navy like that, you know, where there is enough color contrast, you know, it's not, not gray on gray where it's getting lost in there. Navy on this gray, I think looks really, really good. I would highly recommend that. Moving on, um, you might've seen this color combination on a video we did the other day. Uh, I was wearing the same thing when we were presenting the City Hunter for ladies with my colleague Alice. Um, I mean, I put a navy city hunter here just because like navy, this is a substitute for any navy blazer, right? Or any navy top layer. I think this sort of thing looks really great with like strong colors because you know, once you have it all on, you have it buttoned up, like you're just seeing like that little bit here, you know, it's just peeking out and it's a little bit of extra visual interest. The tangerine against the navy, I think is unexpected, but really nice to look at. And, uh, if you want to see what it looks like, like I said, watch that video with Alice from a couple days ago, uh, City Hunter 2 Ladies. All right, moving on. Um, we also have this. So this is an olive sport coat. Cloth is by Lanificio di Pry. 
And uh, what's interesting about this olive is actually the base of it is navy, surprisingly. Um, there's obviously a lot of green and yellow and brown in it, but the base of it is actually navy. And so when you put a navy sleeveless waistcoat on there, uh, a sleeveless cardigan, I mean, uh, it's another great match. Like it's just very harmonious like that. Finally, let's look at this one, because um, this is an interesting and challenging one to match up, right? This is our Model 12 in a big, big check um, by a male called McGee. And, uh, you know, the temptation obviously is, well, let's just pick a color out of this palette, right? But there's a tangerine here, and you could put the tangerine with this Model 12, but for me, like, it's a little bit strong. Like, I think some people could pull it off, not so much for me. I think actually this looks best with just a very simple charcoal. You know, it, it kind of tones down and anchors the sport coat a little bit. And you could certainly see like the charcoal with a pair of blue denim. I think it would be great that way. So there you go, just some ideas um, on how you can kind of pair the sleeveless cardigan. Uh, we actually have more colors on the website and in store. These are just the colors for this season, but we actually have colors that are carrying over from previous seasons in our shops as well. And uh, oh, one last thing, because I totally forgot to mention, the material of these cardigans. So we specifically chose 21 gauge merino wool for these cardigans. Um, 21 gauge merino wool for us is the best balance. Like if you go to 30 gauge, it's a little bit too fine, a little, doesn't have enough body, it's a little see-through. It doesn't really keep you that warm. 21 gauge is perfect. Like it's never so thick that you can't button up your jacket over it. Um, and it always looks kind of neat and tidy, like it won't get pulled out of shape too easily. Uh, we also do these sleeveless cardigans in cashmere, um, if you want like a more luxe option. And this cashmere ones are awesome as well. Um, but for me, like I'm all about the merino sleeveless cardigan. So if you get a chance, please check it out. There we go. Thanks for watching.